It's movie time! Do you ever have a hard time at the movie theater choosing which candy to get? If that's the case, then watch this video to the very end because I'm gonna decide what is the best movie theater candy. For this video, I've chosen some sweet and some sour and tangy movie theater candies that are sold across Canada and USA. I'm gonna put them side by side and right in front of each other taste test them all and choose which one I think is the best. Now this is gonna be a very fun video for me to do because typically I'm just a chocolate person, but as you can see, some of these candies are definitely not chocolate. They're more that chalky sour type chemical flavored candies that I don't really eat that much. That's why I'm so excited to try them. I'm gonna start with the Maynard's Sour Patch Kids Extreme. Oh, sounds like it's gonna be very sour. This is all of it that was in the bag. I see, I think five. There's blue, green, orange, a slightly darker orange, or maybe considered red. Is that five? I'm not sure. But it smells absolutely heavenly. I'm gonna try the orange one. Oh, that's very tart and has a really good orange flavor to it. What's very weird is it almost tastes like a real slice of orange. That's really good. I like that. It also has a little kick of a orange zest flavor. I'm really enjoying this one. I'm going to have the red one now. Is that watermelon? I can't tell what it is, but it's a really nice sour flavor. Oh no, that was definitely cherry. I could tell when it got sweet and it tasted really good. I'm going to try the green one now. Oh yeah, that's definitely green apple. Not the hugest fan of anything green apple flavored. This one was okay. Blue raspberry always manages to be one of my favorite candy flavors. Oh wow, that's one very sour and tangy blue raspberry flavor. <laughs> Probably my favorite flavor of all the bunch in this box. It was two thumbs up good. Okay, I'm really surprising myself by how much I like this Maynard's Sour Patch Kids Extreme. It was absolutely two thumbs up delicious. Holy cow. I'm gonna put the Maynard Sour Patch Kids Extreme for now at the very beginning of the line. Let's try the Sweet Tarts Original. This one has five different colors, so I'm assuming it's five different flavors. Each one has a characteristic written on it, except for local. There's local characteristic. There's classy or personality types, I guess. It is chic. Heart isn't a characteristic either. Humble and local, interesting. I'm gonna try the pink. Are you supposed to be chewing these or letting them kind of melt in your mouth? I'm gonna chew them now. The pink one had a nice, sweet and tart strawberry flavor. I'm just not a fan of the texture of these types of chalky candies. I'm gonna try the green one now. Again, it's green apple, not a fan of it, but it's not too bad tasting. Head? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. I wonder if the purple one tastes like grape. I kind of like grape candy, so I'm hoping it's grape. Mmm. So far, the best one is the grape one. It's so good. Is the yellow one lemon or banana? Well, that's actually a very nice zesty tangy lemon flavor. I like that. Well, I'm hoping the blue is blue raspberry because like I said before, blue raspberry is one of my favorite candy flavors. Hmm, that's odd. Do I sense a bit of a cherry flavor in the blue one? Yeah, cherry. That tasted good, but it was so odd. Taste cherry in a blue candy. For all you sweet tart fans out there, is the blue one cherry? I expected blue raspberry, so I was kind of let down, but it still tasted good, so I'm confused. Overall, I liked every single flavor of the sweet tarts. Just not a fan of that chalky texture. So for that, I'm gonna give them two thumbs slightly sideways. The sweet tarts original, I'm gonna put in second Place. Now I'm craving something a little chocolatey, so let's go with Nestle Smarties. For all my American viewers out there that have never seen Nestle Smarties, these are chocolate treats, kind of like M&M's, that have a hard candy shell on them, and the center is milk chocolate. Good quality milk chocolate in a fun, crunchy shell. What's not there to like? The shells don't have different flavors. Like I said, these are just like M&M's, slightly different. My taste buds always give Nestle Smarties two thumbs up. It's a classic American treat. Make chocolate M&M's. 
Really good tasting milk chocolate in a crunchy shell, fun to eat and it's tasty. Two thumbs up. In my opinion, the chocolate in M&M's tastes better, but Smarties are more fun to eat because they are a bit crunchier, have a thicker shell all around them. Here's a very quick comparison between M&M's on the right side and Nestle Smarties on the left side. And I've also tried to match the closest colors of each side by side in the center. You can see M&M's are a little bit smaller and have the very iconic M design on them. Smarties are bigger and wider and have no branding on them. So I think for the rating, I'm gonna put M&M's milk chocolate at the beginning of the line and I'm gonna put Nestle Smarties in second place. Mike and Ike Mega Mix. I actually have a little funny story to tell you guys about. It's funny to me about Mike and Ike. See, this is how much I'm not a non-chocolate candy person. For the longest time, I thought the name was Mike Pooh Ike. I thought that was P-U-E and it was French for something. Because in Canada, packaging for products has both French and English on it. So I for sure thought that P-U-E instead of A-N-D because that's how I read it, P-U-E. That's what it looks like. Look, to be fair, it looks like P-U-E. And I was like, hmm, what does Poo mean in French? Mike Poo Ike. What is this? Thank God this box identifies the flavors and the colors on the back. Here's everything that was on the box. All the colors, all the flavors. Who let the weed whack her out? Who, who, who? I'm gonna try the blue one and I think this one is the Caribbean Punch. Yeah, it's not too bad. It does have some island fruit types of flavors in there, like maybe mango, maybe pineapple mixed together. I think this one is Paradise Punch. Yeah, it definitely does have a punch flavor to it. Again, with some island type of fruitiness. I like banana and this one is supposed to be kiwi banana. So I'm kind of curious to see what it tastes like. Oh yeah, I definitely do get a banana flavor. I like that. There's some tanginess there too. This, I believe according to the guide, is pineapple banana. That sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Interesting, I get both banana and pineapple flavors. Kind of like it, but at the same time, kind of don't like it. That's kind of weird, right? Kind of. Okay, you be the judge. One of these is supposed to be peach berry, the other one is supposed to be mango delight. I can't figure the difference between these two colors. Okay, let's see which is which. Oh, that's mango. I usually like mango flavored things, but not this one. Well, that just means this one is peach, uh, what is it? Peach berry. What kind of berry is it? Mm, this is better than the mango. Strawberry banana. That sounds very really interesting. Okay, so that's probably one of the best flavors so far in this box. I think they read my mind or maybe heard me earlier when I said I like grape flavored things. Grape soda is this one. Mmm, wow. Oh yeah, definitely my favorite flavor of all time in this box. This time green is watermelon. Thank God it's not green apple. Oh wow. Okay, this one is also a huge surprise. Wow, this is good. I probably shouldn't be surprised that they have a blue raspberry in there. I'm excited for this one. Oh yeah, that's definitely a good flavor. Not as good as the last two flavors that I tried, but it's really good. I guess I can easily say Mega Mix Mike and Ike really surprised me in terms of how much I enjoyed each flavor. I think there was only one flavor I didn't really like as much. Overall, I'm gonna give these two thumbs up. They were very tasty. In terms of the flavor and the texture, I like them just as much as I like the Maynard Sour Patch Kids Extreme. So I'm gonna give them shared third place. I've tried Milk Duds only a couple of times before. But look at this, kind of matches the color of my shirt. I know it's milk chocolate and caramel. Not sure if I remember how how I liked it or not, but I'm very excited to try it again. This is basically what the candy looks like. That's a soft milk chocolate coating, not a hard shell. So the inside is a very tough, not very tough, but definitely a tough caramel center. That milk chocolate coating tastes good, but it goes away almost immediately when you put it in your mouth. I personally like the flavor of the caramel that's, that's in there. And I also like the flavor of the chocolate that's coating it. So I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. I just wish the milk chocolate lasted a longer time. That would be so good. These, in fact, in my opinion, are perfect for tea with a cup of hot tea if you're British or even with unsweetened coffee that would be perfect 
These may be a little too sweet, but overall I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. I like the flavor. For now, I'm gonna put Milk Duds in third place. Probably Canada's most popular chocolate covered raisins. It's the Glass Set Raisins by Hershey in Canada. Nothing really that special to look at. They're just chocolate covered raisins. Honestly, what's there to not like? Really good milk chocolate and inside it is like a slightly tangy, more sweet raisin. The raisins in these are very fresh, very soft and chewy. That's why I like them so much. Overall, a little too sweet, but I really like the flavor. These are two thumbs up. So I'm gonna do some readjusting here. I'm gonna put glacette raisins in second place for now. And last, there's two juniors, mint and caramel. I've never tried the junior caramel before, and because mint has a stronger flavor, I'm gonna try that last. So let's go with the caramel first. Nothing that special to look at on the outside, it's just milk chocolate. There's the caramel center. Hmm, honestly, I'm a bit let down on this. The milk chocolate flavor is okay. The caramel flavor is just meh. Overall, this candy is just two thumbs up them sideways. For now, I'm gonna put junior caramels in last place. I've had junior mints a few times before, but a long time ago. I usually like mint and chocolate. I just don't remember how I felt about Junior Mints before, but I'm excited to try them again. Interesting, I don't know if this has always been the case or not. These look like they're dark chocolate coated and the box does say creamy mints in pure chocolate. Were these always in dark chocolate or was it milk chocolate before? That looks very interesting. For anyone that has never tried the Junior Mints, the center is a white gooey mint. Well, this one is definitely better than the caramel one. The mint center is very strong and minty, but not really a cooling your mouth type of mint. It tastes good. At the same time, the center again is very sweet. I can taste the dark chocolate, but mint really takes over. And because the center is really sweet, it kind of makes the chocolate sweet too. I kind of wish either the chocolate flavor was stronger or the mint was slightly weaker so I could taste the chocolate more. They are still pretty good though. I'm gonna give them two thumbs slightly sideways. For now, I'm gonna put Junior Mints in fourth place. Have you had any of the movie theater candies that I tried in this video? If you have tried them, what is your opinion on them? How would you rank them? And also, what do you think of the ranking I did here from the crowned M&M's milk chocolate to the very last place, Junior Caramels? This was definitely a surprising and fun video for me to do. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like this type of content, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell notification icon, choose all. That way, every time I post a video, you'll get notified and you'll watch it. If you enjoyed this video, give it one thumb up and check out this playlist right here. I'll see you in the next video.